Hello everybody. Thank you for coming back um, to my channel. I do have another journal to show you uh, this time. It is another mini. It is in a series of three minis. This is the last one. It is sold and um, it is a four and a half by four and a half inch in size. It is three signatures and uh, about a hundred pages, a little bit more. So it is uh, quite chunky, uh, quite a thick little one. It does fit nicely in the palm of my hand and I do like those things. Um, so this is the third one, as I said, and last one in this purple series. So this one is called the Violet. Violet um, has a two inch spine and it is in a stitch together in a pamphlet style. It does have some ribbon and lace and a fabric cover. It does have Tim Holtz hardware uh, put together here by um, some little brads holding the hardware down and the title Violet, which I found uh, in a dictionary uh, with the meaning of, so I put that as the title. And uh, it does have a small uh, tassel, you know, considering some people have it a lot thicker, but in a mini, I don't think it needs a lot. So I put a little one here with a little bit of beads and some ribbon. And there is a little butterfly in here. If I can get it out. There we go. A little butterfly and a little laugh charm. And the back, uh, it is the nice fabric. That's That reminds me of Violet's uh, it's in the purple color and there is all kinds of shades of purple inside the journal. It is held together with a piece of muslin that I've sewn in into the cover here as well. So on the top we do have all kinds of uh, fluff, all kinds of different shades of purple again and some white and so on. That goes with the rest of the theme on the bottom as well. I did leave all the sewing tails so that well in case you do like it too like me you can keep it or you can cut it off if you really um, don't like it at all if it's too much for you on the top as well there is some threads um, as well that I left not too many but there is some so as I mentioned it, it did come in a set of three mini journals uh, there was the first one was lavender and then lilac and this is violet uh, they are all sold accordingly and this is the last one in that series however I might be making more of the purple because I do like purple myself and apparently other people do as well so I might be making more of these in this miniature sizes um, this one was the middle size medium size four by four and the other one was uh, four and a half by four and a half. Uh, the larger one was uh, four by five inches and the smaller one was um, uh, three and a half by four. So uh, we do have uh, lots of ribbon uh, sewn to the pages and uh, some charms here as well. We're gonna go inside and let's see uh, what is inside here what uh, possible violets it could we come across so i i do like to also keep it open and to me a junk journal open is quite beautiful and all the sewing and all the embellishments um can be seen uh, throughout charms and so on little notebooks and envelopes and so on so it did take me about a month, I would say, to do a mini, which I thought might be a little bit faster than a bigger one. However, it did take about the same. So to begin with, we do have this uh, beautiful uh, scrapbook paper um, that I left as it is. And uh, there is a pocket here uh, where I have put my uh, business card and also about violet and how it's named from its sweet scent in the back here so anyone can you know remove the card and put whatever it is you need to put in there by the way we do have a little charm here 
a little tiny key and sewing here with some muslin muslin I'm sorry muslin I keep saying muslin and uh, here is uh, my own uh, stamping page here call it my uh, digi kit which I don't really have one but anyways uh, my own stamping uh, which I had a purple uh, butterfly and I also I also colored a, a purple butterfly sticker so I thought I would include that here and here is Violet on an Edith Holden page a uh, very beautiful painting I wish I could uh, paint quite as beautifully but it is not to be or even if I could I have no time for it um, just the back of that page and then over here I do have the pronunciation for Violet here is a page that I did uh, spray paint uh, with the ink, purple inks. It turned out quite good. And um, even a little bit of coffee dye on the top. And then uh, some paper ruffle here and some ribbon to go with that. In the back here, I do have uh, this beautiful uh, little uh, page from a book with owls. Of course, they're not purple, but the background is just such a nice lilac or... A violet color that I thought I would uh, keep it in here over here I do have a definition of violet in a little more words which is um, printed on a purple background that I painted in the back you can write on it and here I have some line paper that I found on the internet and bought it um, just fits perfectly in here over here we have a little bit of beads, some beads that um, were put together just to match these colors. And then um, also spray painted, this is fabric, a fabric pocket, spray painted as well. And here we have a little envelope with uh, the stamps here, I have a few stamps in the whole thing. And um, they are in the same shade of course. I stamped it up a little bit and then included a little piece of paper, which you know now uh, will come in any journal for me. Um, and one side you can write on and the other side I just stamped it up a bit. So you can just put some little highlight of the day as I say. And here's a little tag that also has some, um, I think it's wool here with a little bit of shiny. And tabs on top on a lot of the pages. Here's a little bit of stamping on coffee dye pages and the name Violet. Uh, this is, um, I put it on the background that I painted with a little bit of sparkle. I do like a little bit of sparkle here and there. So here a lot of these uh, images are printed from the graphics fairy or found around the net um, copyright free. So there was quite a few of Violets. Um, so I did have a choice to choose from. And here's a little bit more beads on top of this beautiful uh, purple ribbon. Here's a pocket and uh, another piece of paper that I stamped with some lines and a little bit of design on the back that you can roll up here and write on. And a journaling card with some uh, shiny uh, violet colors on it. And here's a, a flower from the Edith Holden book again with a little bit of purple on top. A little bit more purple here. And that writing paper, a little fold out uh, with a stamp in the color. Over here we have, of course, purple paper clip. And a little tuck in on the top here. This one has a little fold out. Um, with the violets on it and a stamp that is in uh, quite of these shades. I might go with the violet. This is an older envelope that I used uh, with the address, but I just covered it up a little bit. And on the back, uh, this beautiful um, coffee stain paper. I can just see myself writing on that. I really wanted to, but I kept it <laughs> clean for whoever it is that this is going to. And this is the middle of the signature of the first one and some more beads in here in the pink shade and some stamping next page we have 
violets of course some back and the front and uh, it's a little folder that holds uh, another folder <laughs> with uh, violets on the back and some copy stained paper in the front this one too and with some ribbons on the top so lots of uh, little spaces to write on Over here, the other side of the lined paper fold out and the Edith Holden uh, paper. Look at this beautiful one. This is the most beautiful thing. Uh, such detail that she has in here and as well all the shades of the purple just fit perfectly into this book. Over here is um, another stamped uh, pocket and I did use the fabric from the cover on this tag and this one with some ribbon and some stamped lines on it on the back here I did a paper clip a little thing about violets little poems and so on uh, um, and something about April in the back here and with that same fabric so I'll just put this over here some coffee stained paper with some stamping Another pocket here, the other side of the uh, fabric pocket that was um, sprayed. And uh, here's a little notebook. It does have the stampings uh, in purple here in the front and then some different pages here to write on, including a nice purple flower in the middle. And here's a little bit bigger page of the line paper with this um, beautiful purple stamp on it. I just love stamps, so I need to use them as much as I can. I do have lots of them. So over here, I do have some birds with some lilac uh, background as well that I that would just look nice in here. In the back here is, um, again, spray painted um, paper with some paper ruffle and ribbon. It's it, just a plain uh, tag, but it does have a, a pretty uh, shine to it. And it just um, it goes in here if you need to put something in. It stays in like that. So it's a little bit of a tuck in there as well. Uh, more violets from Edith Holden book. Beautiful, beautiful painting. And then my uh, digikit, as I call it, with some purple tag on here as well. So um, it does have a, a, a quite a variety of color here, but I, I threw it together and I put a pocket on it and I do like it. I might be using it again somewhere. So this is the, the middle. You can see the inside here as well. And this page here, the uh, uh, beginning of the second signature, it does have this um, um, beautifully painted and stitched together paper, as they call them, Franken paper, I guess. Um, it is a little bit shiny uh, with that paint that I have, metallic paint, I suppose. And Inside his uh, pocket uh, with violets on it and uh, more violets inside here and another spray painted tag. And here is a, a little bit of a quote from Mark Twain about violets. And then here is a belly band made uh, from that fabric from the cover and uh, backed onto another piece of uh, fabric. Now this one is a little folder that you can open up and inside um, you know you can um, use it as a tag just as it is or you can open it up and write into it. It has this um, beautiful uh, curvy lined stitching on it and some violets. It says uh, birthday greeting but it is uh, very vintage and I just like the way it looked with the bird and the flowers and so I just kept it together so I will put that back later and here we have some stamping and then this beautiful pattern paper it is a uh, fold out I did leave some things as it is so you can also use your imagination and here we have uh, more of these little beads and a little bird that I stamped on and um, a couple of little tags here here and there's a paper clip holding it okay 
This one with the blue uh, or purple butterfly with some paper that you can open and write on and this one as well. So some uh, white ribbon here ruffled very nicely actually and then in the back actually the paper clip was holding this it, uh, the palette or color palette for uh, violet and the different colors that violet colors come in so that just goes back here and then uh, this butterfly is uh, from another piece of fabric that I just cut out the butterfly and put it on here uh, very beautiful also in uh, purple here and blues and the spray painted uh, fabric again fabric that I used uh, in the other pages and I backed that with some lined paper for you to write on and here's Edith Holden with some more violets in the back uh, just beautiful nature and there's some violets in here as well so here's a plain page uh, for you to fill up with something and uh, a stamp in the back is first uh, these beautiful little beads with little bows on them on the top and the bottom and uh, look at this stamp it's just really very delicate very beautiful um, and a pocket in there with a couple of things in it I believe these are forget-me-nots with a nice violet background and a little isn't it the cutest a little mouse um, in a hat <laughs> and a purple background so Everything there is backed up that you can write on. Here as well, another pocket with ribbon stitched onto paper so it's a little bit more usable. And um, lots and lots of uh, tabs on the top. Here's a middle of the second signature. And here we have the other side of that pocket and we have an old letter. Um, I just like looking at old letters, so I included that in here. Stitched around to make that an envelope. And the other side of this one, it does have this um, pretty little note to write on, note paper, that you open up. Stamped up a little bit with some keys. And in the back, sorry, is um, this um, beautiful shiny paint that I put on. That goes back in here. Uh, a title again, Violet. I just like using the names of, uh, of these um, different uh, flowers that I've used. So Violet here and Edith Holden back here. Beautiful nature, nature uh, flower print. And here as well, another one of a Violet. And uh, this one, I put this lady in here. You know, not nature, obviously, but um, I just thought she fit in here a little bit of a um, violet color on her, and she's looking so haunting. So I just put her here in this fabric spray painted page. Uh, this is a vintage uh, fabric that I have. It's in blues. It's beautiful blue. All of it is blue. It's been cut out. I left how it was cut out, and it just never was put together, never sewn. So I still have it in a bag, um, quite a bit of it and uh, some different papers here to write on and in the back as well so that's here on a page that has this uh, white ribbon on it and another stamping of a bird and a little bit of a little bit of a calendar here with a butterfly on violet background and another little envelope with this um, beautiful violet stamp on it and I just stamped up the whole envelope with the purple ink and a little paper to write on and a little bit of a stamp on the back so that goes in here as well so here we have that uh, beautifully patterned paper fold out and then here is another uh, quote a little bit about violets and then here is another belly band with another one of these that opens up and you can write inside it as well it just is closed together with this purple ribbon i'm just going to keep this one closed and put it back in here there we go and another stamp here in that 
purple color on the light paper in the little pocket. And this one also has a little one that and you open, open it. it. And inside is a little booklet. A little tiny one, actually a little folder, I guess, and with little tags inside on purple paper. A little tiny little tiny folder with some tags in it. And you can write on the back or journal cards or whatever you want to call it. And then with these beautiful violets in the back. So that goes in here. And then here, this itself is something it's talking about springtime and violets and so on. So I'll put that back later. And this is the end of the second signature. So we have here uh, that paper that is stitched together. And here we have this uh, beautiful marble paper um, that I have a book of that I thought I would put in here. And then this uh, ribbon here and a little butterfly uh, charm. So that opens up and uh, we have a pocket here with that froggy. He's just the cutest. Uh, on the violet background and a bit of writing space in the back um, there's little beads with a bow and a little stamp of a rose here another pocket with a butterfly so here we have a uh, this is a little booklet so or notebook so you can write in this and uh, violets in the back and as well, uh, another envelope with a Canada stamp on it and and just some plain uh, lined white paper you can write on. So that will go in here. And here is a pocket too. I did leave a couple of pockets that are empty for you to fill up with something. This beautiful um, shiny paint again. Uh, all kinds of shades of violet and some also some stained paper here my paper a little bit about violets uh, from the Edith Holden book and about April as well here we have uh, like a tracing paper or vellum uh, pocket so you open it up and you have a little bit of I think organza covered uh, journal tag and one with a little bit of purple ribbon. This one um, has this beautiful uh, flowery purple design paper and uh, a little poem, The Violet by Jane Taylor. In the back of it has that little sparkly paper, but you can still write on it with your gel pen or marker or something. So um, this is a fold out, actually folds out like this and you have some lines on there to write on. Here's another uh, fabric pocket that was sprayed with purple paint and or ink and a little bit more. This is uh, from the Lilac Journal. I had some leftovers so I used it here and something about violets, journaling cards. And then I also printed this paper with the different, um, different names or Latin names for flowers. And this is a vintage uh, wrapping paper that I found. Beautiful violets and just beautiful colors here. And some of that a little fold up with a nice stamp on here. Also beautiful purple here. I believe it's a Queen Elizabeth stamp. And uh, this is the paper that I have. It feels like linen a little bit. Very smooth and just like to just kind of Look at it and feel it sometimes. <laughs> it does have a tab on top and some ribbon on the side here. And as well, it has the little beads that I've uh, put together on a little lobster claw uh, safety pin. In the middle of the third signature here, uh, we have this uh, purple uh, butterfly and bird and some lined paper. That goes nicely with the rest. And this is the other side of that. Uh, linen sort of feel. 
uh, paper and as well lots of tabs all over that you can see. Um, this is the um, most beautiful stamp I've, I've seen and um, certainly in this book at least of a mother and uh, her child in this beautiful purple and backed up with some of that sparkly paper. Um, very beautiful to look at. It folds out and the other side of that uh, vintage wrapping paper. Very beautiful. And uh, here we have another pocket with uh, a bigger notebook, a little bit bigger in size. It has a little bit of writing in here and it has a little bit of a uh, calendar it looks like uh, from January to March and some violets on here. I'll just uh, put that together like that, put it back in the pocket. And over here is a fold out uh, with some writing spots and a journaling tag that clips on sort of from the top and that design paper. And here's the other side of the vellum. It does have tabs all over on the bottom and on the top. And here's a little bit more of the calendar, purple all over, journaling cards. And you can add, it will hold a lot more so you can add more in there. And the other side of Edith Holden and I put a little quote on there as well. And here's some violets here as well. And uh, just a little bit more of that stained paper and uh, a few more beads with these pretty little bows. The other side of that pocket I left empty so you can um, fill it up with something. And here we have a little stamping of our um, a bird cage, and then as well another little notebook. It does have the little tiny beads on it. It is one of those notebooks that um, I call the let me just see if I can hold it here. I'll just go like this. Um, that I call the petal notebook that has the different sizes of uh, paper. And when you kind of look at it, it almost looks like uh, petals opening up different sizes and colors. So this one is in the purple theme, of course, and with a little bead on the bottom. So that will go back in here. To this pocket. Here we have, um, it is uh, uh, just a plain uh, fabric cover and then some different papers here to write on. So a little notebook. And uh, uh, the pocket here, the last page, has a little journaling tag with a little bit of purple on it and a little bit of a collaging and that marble paper that I have. So in the back here I did uh, sign my name and put the title and the date that I finished it. And then I did uh, write a little note here um, to the lady that bought it. And this is the end of Violet. Hopefully I can get it uh, packaged and out uh, uh, soon. I will probably working be working on a, a, a few more uh, minis because I did enjoy it. I do have some other ones um, as well that I need to um, get started on uh, like the Wolfology and I might do another Windows and I'll probably do a couple more of these smaller ones and probably in the purple theme. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed looking at Violet. I will be um, you know posting more videos as I get them and I hope that maybe more people start to notice my channel and come back again. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Again, it's Rosie from Rose by Name Co. Um, I don't know actually if I said my name to begin with, but um, it is Rosie and I do enjoy making these journals and I hope you come back again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.